Hello guys, welcome back to American Truck Simulator. I am in the Mac Pinnacle today, and we are picking up in Surrey here. Switch, switch my tab over. Picking up in Surrey. We're going to be heading to Aberdeen. I'm in the Mac Pinnacle. So we're picking up a load of fungus, I think, or fungus hides, something like that. I don't know. Should be a rather simple trip, 300 miles. I am on the Pro Mods map still. <clears throat> and this truck was a mod as well. It's a pretty good looking truck. It is kind of slow, but that's okay. I like the metallic bronze. It's like I said, it's a pretty good looking truck. The only thing is I don't the sound is okay. But it could be better. So let's hook up. And get going. Leaving the rail export here. Oh, Let me bring my microphone a little closer to my to my face. So, oh, oh man, I haven't made a video in a few days. Well, I uploaded, I uploaded recently, but I haven't actually filmed in like a week. Um, I've just been really busy lately, mainly with my car. Um, like I said, I wanted to make an update video on that. I probably will here eventually. It's just, it's been a little bit of a, challenge. Looks like we're waiting on a train. Yeah, it's a pretty good looking truck, but I just I don't know if I really like driving it. I like <laughs> I like to look at it, but driving it, uh, I don't know. You kind of get a crappy engine with it, so like I said, I think I'm going to drive it back to my yard in Reading and probably hire a driver to drive this truck. And then, yeah, my driver's actually doing really badly. <laughs> um, I checked out, I hired, a, I hired a driver for the Peterbilt 389 I have, and I checked out, um, I guess just because it costs a lot to train him. He's losing me a lot of money. <sighs> I think he's finally starting to make me money, but I think in order to train him, it costs me like 60000 or something. I don't know if that's right. I think he had to fix the, my truck too, so maybe that's what it was. I don't know. But, uh... 
Yeah, so I think he's starting to make me money, but... Me between buying two trucks, upgrading my garage, and then hiring a driver, I've really spent a lot of money. Which is okay, because I'll make it back, because I, I like driving, obviously. That's why I'm in the game. Okay, this is taking forever. <sighs> what the hey? And I guess there's just a lot of trains nearby here. I was driving over here from um, wherever I dropped off at in the last video. Oh, that's right. It, the video went bad on me. But wherever I dropped off at, I drove over here. And I got a railroad crossing on the way over here. So I'm guessing it's just a very busy... Um, port, if you will. Okay, this is a little ridiculous. I wonder... if I can drive around. I'm tired of sitting here. Okay, I see the train. He's not coming over here, though. See if I can drive through the tracks. Will it let me? We're just sitting here. Oh, there we go. And we're off. Hopefully no train comes by. I don't have all day for this stupid train. Alright. I like it, the truck on the throttle. But I don't like it. Uh, the Jake break, it's kind of crummy. What were they like loading the train? Had to be. Let's get rolling. So we're literally right. Oof. Huh? Crap. <laughs> I'm little, literally right on the U.S. border here. So we'll probably have to go through customs first. And then... Make our trip. I've already driven, like literally, from the downloading the ProMods map, I've driven about half of it already. Um, It's not a very big map. It's, it's a good map, but it's not very big. Hopefully they expand it later on, but they might, they might not. Well, I, th I think they actually are, sorry. Um, but it's just kind of nice to, you know, lean back and get to drive in a little bit. Oh, 
hope everyone is doing well. Like I said, I think I might go back to the FLD or possibly get another truck mod. I'm not quite sure. By the way, thank you guys for tuning in. Um, if you enjoy my video, give it a like. I am playing American Truck Simulator. Um, I didn't say that previously, but that's what I am playing. Um, It's going to be going right down to 5, I think. So it should be a pretty short trip. Pretty small load compared to the ones I've been hauling. Um, I don't even think is this a full 53? Not sure. I think it's like it looks more like 48 get the Tesla right there <sighs> oh, sure, just pull out in front of me. What is he doing?
So not much updates from the game developers on anything that they've been up to lately, I don't think. Um, let me check. I mean, we did get the, uh, the truck in Wyoming recently. Oh, it's something about Pink's over uh, for Breast Cancer Awareness Month. I think they're updating the game itself, like the whole game, to like 1.42 or something. I don't know anything about that. I'm not exactly sure, you know, what that means. By the way, guys, I mentioned this previously, but um, now that I'm talking about SCS, it gets me thinking. I did mention previously that if my videos start doing better, I'll do Euro Truck Simulator too. I probably will get it eventually anyway, but I'll definitely be more inclined and motivated to if, uh, if my videos... Do a bit better. Hmm. I'm not really looking to uh, to YouTube really to make me load loads of money, or even if it never makes me any money at all, I'm just looking to it as a way to show the things that are interesting to me and other people might find it interesting as well. Um, this isn't a video game channel. It's not it's not really anything other than my channel and just the things that interest me and hopefully I can take some along the ride with me, um, if that makes sense. I have a lot of things that interest me, um, a lot of things that I want to do, um, but some of it is kind of not really an issue of money, but, but of money. Um, I've, I've thought it'd be cool. One of the things I'd like to do eventually is like a build like a small home or something like that. And I think that would be something cool like to um, to make videos on and film. I mean not that many um, people. I mean, I've seen, like, the tiny homes and stuff. I haven't seen too many things like that, but, I mean... <clears throat> that would be a ways down the road, to say the least.
like I said, right now I have a, you know, a theme and things that I make videos on, but it might not always be that way. It might just be, you know, random things. I don't think I'll ever be a vlogger, but I did put vlog in my channel name so that people would understand. It's not just, um, it's not just like an automotive channel or it's not anything it's a vlog channel too eventually um, oof well oh they stopped short oof wow But, um, trucking has always been an interest of mine. And trucking and also big trucks. Um, and trucking simulators. I played them when I was really young. And I got away from them because a lot of them earlier on really sucked. You know, we didn't have companies, they just cranked out a game, and they called it a day. There wasn't, you know, continuous updates to it like we have now. And I'm thankful for that. I'm happy to continuously give SCS small amounts of money in exchange for them continuously making the game better. It's almost like a, a subscription, but not really. And here we go. Welcome. Going back to the good old USA. Extra inspection. What the heck? <sighs> but all right, we gotta get our papers ready. Let me reach down and grab my paperwork, hand it over to the agent. usually takes a couple minutes let me pop open a cold one and let's get going But, um, yeah, so, I, like I said, I just wanted to make this, like, uh, taking my viewers along the journey with me, you know? Um, and hopefully, you know, you guys just kind of sit back and kind of game with me. Oh, 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 I thought the road was curving there. Okay. But, um, and also, I don't have anyone to convoy with, so if anyone watches this video and wants to, to convoy with me, feel free. Um, But, so, <clears throat> other truck sims had, uh, I should take that back, 
there were people continuously putting work into those games, but it wasn't the initial developers just really entering Blaine, Washington. And we're heading south. Okay, no, no, we're not getting on the five yet. Um, but somehow I've been down that road before, it looks like. I don't know. Um, there were modders, but it wasn't like they were continuously, sorry, it wasn't like the developers were continuously adding content and, and continuously developing their game like they are today. <clears throat> Sure is a lot of traffic lights. Gosh. But if there's any any mods you guys want me to try, or any routes you want me to go, or any suggestions for my videos. Please leave that in the comments. I appreciate any feedback, anything really, any interaction. And wow, are they just running the light? What are they doing? I don't know. Okay, south entrance. I'm surprised there was no welcome to Washington sign. That's interesting. We're still on the Pro Mods map, by the way, for a little bit here. At least till we get back to Bellingham. I think once we jump on the front, uh, jump on the five, that's when uh, the map ends. Um, And I'm, I'm, um, I do use an Xbox controller, which I do like to use, but it's definitely not as smooth as a steering wheel, unfortunately. But it's okay, I also like it because I can adjust the camera view a lot better. I can't drive 55 But anyway, if you guys enjoy these style of videos, I have a bunch more um, American Truck Simulator videos. I would say that in my videos, but please feel free to check them out. Um, I would appreciate it. Oops, oops. Let's set our cruise control here. We're kind of getting a little sloppy. A lot of Washington looks very similar to this, just heavily wooded. Um, it's 
especially in northern Washington, I think. But, and I've honestly been itching to uh, film more, but like I said, I've just been so busy lately. Um, and hopefully that will change soon. Hopefully I won't be as busy um, once I get things with Mustang sorted out. But um, until then, I'm still, like I said, I've still been consistent. But uh, I just haven't been as consistent. Anyway. We can stretch this out a little here for once. Maybe, oh, oh, gosh, we got the way station coming up. I will say, I know they're going to do Texas, and then they'll probably work their way north. Um, but what if they just kind of threw in an Easter egg Canadian province after they did uh, Montana, like, uh, what's north of Montana, Alberta? Is it Alberta? think what if they just yeah threw in an Easter egg Canadian province like that I know a lot of people say um, they have a uh, rolling scales now. sound now but I don't like when you hear that like it's sucking for air or whatever and it starts out high in the RPMs again that noise so let's step on the scale They're gonna give me a ticket for having too much damage. Let's get rolling.
frames panning the camera for me. That's pretty cool. Burlington. Coopville. Oops. Sitting there like a noob with my turn signal on still. I just checked in game, by the way, and I have 40,000 in game miles. Um, that's pretty wild. So I think, um, I know I haven't been to Aberdeen before. I don't think it's, like, too much that I haven't seen yet over there, but I have not been there before. Oh, gosh. Like some ships. Oh, yep, here we go. Port of Everett. I made a run out to Port Angeles one time. It was one of the videos I thought I'd made and then um, just didn't record or whatever. I don't know. Before I switched my. Um, the software I was using. <clears throat> so, I really like the drive. I um, there's a swinging bridge. But um, yeah, it was different. It was kind of more rural, um, but obviously, you know, the, the, on, on the other side of Puget Sound, you know, you have Seattle, Everett, Tacoma, um, all those big cities. So it was kind of just very different. I'd like to make another trip up there again, but make a video on it, but then again, I've already been there, so, doesn't do me a whole lot of good. It's 
pressure out a little bit out here. Oops. Ooh. 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 Hey, Argus, another Argus driller. So comparing the FLD and the Mac Pinkle, um, the FLD I think drives a lot better. And it's a better looking truck. But I would say that the Pinnacle is the better looking mod. Um, just better looking body lines. I think a lot more detail. Uh, better paint schemes. Um, it's just a lot more, I guess, in detail. But. I, uh, 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 I prefer the FLD. <laughs> Let me know what you guys think. If anyone makes it this far in my video. truck simulator there's definitely a lot of Europe I'd like to drive um, especially I think like Russia a lot of the a lot of East Europe I feel West Europe the UK France Germany it's kind of already played out you know the big cities I'm more interested to see like I said East Europe um, but you know me I'm an American car guy, and I'm an American truck guy. Yeah, I'll mess around in the Scanias for a little bit, but I need a Peterbilt, um, a Freightliner, maybe a Western Star. I could do a Volvo, but I would need an American. An American style Volvo. No disrespect, but that is what it's all about for me. It would be like me 
there are some European cars I like. There are some European cars I would drive. Um, there's, like I said, there's some beautiful European cars, there's some beautiful European supercars, but in the end, I am, I will always prefer American cars, just not for any nationalist reason or anything, I just, just the style of them, they're just more aggressive. European cars just and European trucks, they tend to be more economical, you know, they're for fuel efficiency, um, excuse me, fitting in small spaces. Whereas American cars and American trucks, they don't care, man. They get bad fuel economy, whatever. At least they look good doing it. At least they're fast. At least they sound mean. And there's a lot of people, they don't care how it sounds like. They don't care what it looks like. They don't care. And that's fine. You know, everyone... I'm screaming out there for a second. Everyone has their, their preferences. For me, I'm an American car guy. I just am. And again, you can say, oh, they're, I mean, honestly, they're probably less reliable than even your, oh, I don't know, European cars are kind of equal, I think, in terms of reliability. Definitely not as reliable as Asian cars, but again, there's always trade offs. There's always going to be things that some manufacturers do better than others. It's life. You can't always be perfect. And again, I, man, I got another freaking way station. But that's just kind of my thoughts. Like I said, there's. And I can also say that with Asian cars, I'm not a big fan of Asian cars. There's a few, probably, gosh, I tend to like Asian cars even less than European cars, to be honest with you. I can't think of any Asian car I'd like to have or drive. <clears throat> I don't like Toyotas, I don't like Hondas. Um, oh, now I can think of one, the Kia Stinger. That one, that one has my respect. But that's, that's an American Korean car. Um, unless, I, I don't think gas is cheap in Korea, so I don't think, I don't think that car would be popular over there. You know, it's kind of more crowded and stuff like Europe and the rest of Asia, at least East Asia. Uh, Central Asia is not very populated, but... What are some other cars I like? in terms of Asian cars. <sighs> the Supra, I guess. But a lot, I think a lot of the fanboys ruin it for me. Um, what does that leave? I don't like the NSX. Um, what else? What else is there? I don't know. But then again, like I said, all those companies, there's plenty of people that, oh, all they buy is Toyota's, all they buy is Honda's. That's fine. Everyone has their preferences. There's nothing wrong with that. Oh, actually, now that I think of it, Volvo, oh, I'm so stupid. I was about to say Volvo is not European. Um, it's not Central European, it's Swedish. 
in Scandinavia. So, they probably do care about fuel efficiency, but, uh, I don't know. And we are trucking now. I wonder what that is. What is that? tell you. It's got to be... Uh, gosh, I don't know. It doesn't say anything on it. It's some arena. That can't be, like... Oh, what's it say? What's it say? Seattle Dome, probably. Eric Taco Dome. I have never heard of that. But, and you say, what, what's the next car I'm going to get? What is, what, uh, what are my interests other than, oops, like a traditional muscle car? Probably the next car I get, I'd really like to get a Charger, um, if the insurance doesn't. bankrupt me. And if not, a CTSV, and they're actually, a CTSV, at least first or second gen, they're actually not that expensive. Um, like, so I have an 05 Mustang GT. An 05 CTSV is probably 30-40% more, and you're getting a sedan for that price, so, I mean, a lot more room, um, and to be honest, <sighs> I don't know, I think, I think that the Mustang honestly probably would last longer, but the CGS is gonna it's gonna ride better for sure, and it's probably a little bit faster, but not too much faster. I think a CTSV <clears throat> 05 uh, at least made 350, but it weighs like a good few hundred pounds more, I think. Um, and obviously the 05 Mustang made 300 even, which, and a lot of people, you know, they hate on them and they say that they're slow and stuff, and they are, um, if you compare them to today's <clears throat> performance cars, but at the same time, you know, if you're used to a Toyota Corolla or something, you're not going to be expecting it's it's going to it's going to be more than you'd be used to I'll say that it's a, it's a quick car compared to most cars but again is it a fast car today no um, in 2005 it was decent but Oof, and I have not been this way before. <clears throat> oh, man. Oh, man. I can't think of any Asian um, tractor trailer companies. I can't think of any.
I think a, I think a cool car too. Um, similar to the CTSV. I don't like the CTSV now because it's not it's auto only. I guess more and more it doesn't really matter, but. Hmm. If I were to drive a, a performance car, I'd like to feel it and enjoy it, you know. So I think I'll always prefer a stick, but I'm not one of those people that I'm not going to give manufacturers that hard of a time. You know, if you want to make only autos. I guess they are better. I guess they're more fuel efficient. I guess, you know, a, a computer eventually will do everything better than a human will. It's just a matter of time. And I think it's to the point where autos have caught up to manuals for sure. I'll look, like I said, I always prefer it when I'm driving a car, I think, um, at least, you know, a sports car or anything like that. But. And like I said, I like the CTSV, and um, you know the, the one car I don't understand why it didn't really catch on. The the Chevy SS, maybe it was too expensive or something. I don't know. And it, it it's not that great looking of a car, I don't think, but it definitely has some potential. You know, it was a CTSV, I think, honestly, without without the. Uh, the luxury Cadillac uh, approach because it's like you know the, the, the common the common name um, is really what I, I'd look for to be honest with you I, I don't I mean a Cadillac is nice but I'd rather have, you know, just some generic brand type car, you know. And we're about to pull up to our spot here. Make our delivery. But I don't know. I think they made the SS a manual, but you know, it kind of a more direct competitor with the Charger. I mean, really, the Charger is really in a class of its own. I mean, there really aren't that many V8 sedans out there. You know, muscle car, four doors. There really aren't. They're all these little fuel-efficient commuters. You know. And like even a charger, you can't get a, even if you wanted to, you can't get a stick charger. And I think the SS had a manual option, but like I said, it just wasn't that popular with the car and they stopped making it. Um, and the, the CTSV, they just stopped making manuals for it. At first it was manual only, but I would like to have that as a next car. Oh, we're 12 out of 16 Evergreen State. It, it would be a good uh, next car, I think. And I've honestly, I will always enjoy my car, but I think I'm kind of at a point where I'd prefer a sedan. Um, just because it's like easier to get into. It's more... It's more, not economical, but uh, it's more, gosh, what's the word I'm looking for? It's, it's more practical. That's it. It's more practical. Oh, and we're going over the see-through bridge. So, okay, we're going to pull off here, the Rail Expo, uh, not yet, next light. What are you, what are you doing? 
Can you just stop? What the heck? Man, I missed the light too. Freaking AI. There's a WRX. That's another car I just... I can't get into. And I know there's people that love Subarus and stuff, but... I just... On a, on a rally scene, yeah, but, like... When they try to make, like, a performance car type thing, like... No. You're you're not that guy. <laughs> you know, that's not what a Subaru is. It's, you know, more like it's honestly more of, you know, kind of like a Jeep than it is um a performance car. It's 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 for rallies. At least I think so. Ooh, it looks like we're going to the Rail Expo, I think. Not sure. We're gonna make our drop. And I think I'll head east or south. I won't go north. And I can't go west. So. Let's make our delivery. Okay. Where do you need it?
can't see where I'm going. Would you look at that? Would you just look at it? Did I get it? Come on. There we go. Alright guys, thanks for watching. More videos to come.